What's going on guys? I am back to answer another question from our community post. For those that are not familiar, last week I made a post on our YouTube community asking you guys what questions that you would like to see answered. And I just kind of select from there and answer the questions. Pretty simple. The, the, the most popular question, I don't know if they're upvoted or liked or however you consider this, was to tell stories about training or just John Meadows type things. So I will do a few of those. Before I get into that, I want to remind everybody that, or let everybody know that doesn't know, that our annual strength equipment sale is going on now. This is a once a year event that we have that is on our strength equipment line at EliteFTS.com. This is the deepest discount, biggest sale, whatever you want to call of the strength equipment that we have. We cannot do this all year because I have to do this in unison with our manufacturers and suppliers because there's not a lot of margin on this stuff. So if this is something that you're interested in and you should be because everybody needs strength equipment, right? Then give it a look. We also put a rewind on our Better Than Black Friday SS yoke bars. That one, it's that's that offer is not going to last very long. The equipment sale will run until at least through the weekend. Again, that kind of is based upon the availability of what's going on. The yoke bars, I don't know if it's going to make it that far. So check that stuff out. So to get to your question, the and it wasn't really a question, it was more of a statement. I have a lot of John Meadows stories to tell. So let me just dial this back and say when and what caused John and I to begin training together back in 2011, I believe it was. And that was, it was actually Shelby Starnes that I was using Shelby for dieting at the time. I was going through a phase to where I wanted to get super lean. And while going through this phase, I was using a lot of HIT training methods. Also used a lot of uh, dog crap style training. I, it's, it's not really HIT training, but I like that style of training for the hypertrophy work I was doing. And it just kind of got stale with it because it was doing it for about a year or so and knew I couldn't. I chose not to go back into a conjugate, conjugate powerlifting type style because the body fat and weight that I was pulling off. So I just, one day I went in to train legs and I wasn't excited to do anything. So I just sent Shelby a text and asked him, just send me something to do for legs because I am not motivated at all and don't want to know what I want to do. So Shelby sends me a text back of a workout for that day. And it was fucking awesome. It just completely destroyed me. And so afterwards I sent Shelby a text back and said, where in the hell did you get that from? And he said, John Meadows. And then I thought, you know, I, I know John and I knew John and cause he used to train at Westside. But then I realized that he was also writing some articles for T nation at the time. So I reached out, I reached out to him and asked him about training, just having a conversation about different training methodologies and training while dieting hard. And so we just got kind of talking back and forth, reminiscing a little bit about when he was training at Westside. And then he said, oh, why don't I just come out and we'll train on Saturday? And it was gonna be a leg training day. I'm like, that works for me. I had a, a group training on Saturdays already, and I was kind of like the the only person in there that was just doing bodybuilding type training at the time. So John comes out, and we started with, so I believe it was seated leg curls, and I didn't quite get it, because for me, it was always you train, unless you were really prioritizing your hamstrings, you would just train your hamstrings towards the end of the training day or on a different day. But that's fine. So we did the the seated leg curls, and I remember after 
what seemed like a million work sets because he would, he would, I remember he said, we're going to do four sets of 10 and then we're going to have a challenge set on that last set. And I'm like, okay, fine. What seemed to be five sets in, he says, okay, that was set number one. And mm. it was, it was confusing to me because he only counted the work sets as far as the set. So I'm counting the sets that are working up because on something like a seated leg curl, how many warm up sets do you really have? Two, maybe three at the very most. So I've already done three work sets at this time. So what, this is a running joke that I had with him through all the years that we are training together is these, the work set thing's bullshit, man. When he says six sets of 10, that, that's really like 25 sets to me. And um, so on the very, the last set we did, um, I forget, it was, it was, I still have people do this now. It may even been in the Juju Mufu video when he came out there on the last set. And we ended up doing like 20 reps on the last set or 25 reps on the last set and then 75 mini reps, which are just the very top part of it and so by that by the time that's over with my hamstrings are shot or what John would say pumped and um that used to drive me crazy because having a strong powerlifting background it's like you just shut up man I don't care who cares about a pump man I care about the weight that you're lifting then we went on to squats because he wanted to squat with a leg with a hamstring pump and so I started, so we did that. I forget what that was. It's was definitely a yoke bar and maybe sits four sets of 10, three sets of 10, which was probably like six sets of 10. And then we moved on to the leg press and started working up there. And then in a weight that wasn't really that heavy, he, he said, um, he said, all right, we're going to start doing the work sets now. And he did what's called an up set, which is the opposite of a strip set. So let's, I can't remember the weight at the time, but let's say it was five, six plates per side. That's where the first set of five started. So you would do five reps, hold it at the top. Somebody would throw a plate on each side. You do five more, someone would throw a plate on each side. You do five more and you keep going up like that until you can't do the five reps. You don't miss the five reps, but you get to a point where you're like, I cannot do one more jump. And then you stop. And that was one set. So we did four of those. Then after that, it was lunges with chains. And it was like a million sets of lunges with chains as well. And then after that, it was leg extensions with the minis, I'm going to try to keep this short because it's just to explain this training session will probably take an hour in itself. And after the leg extensions with the, sh with the shorts, then line leg curls, and then stiff leg deadlifts, no Reeves deadlifts, where we took, um, I believe it was a trap bar at the time and slim line plates on the end of each side of the trap bar. So you could hold the flange of the plates and then would do essentially a stiff leg deadlift with the trap bar. And we did uh, four sets of that. And by this time it's, I'm fucking shot, but I don't want to let him know that I'm shot. So I think at that point I said something along the lines of, cause it seemed like he wanted to be done that we're not done until we do um, belt squats and standing leg curls, I believe it was. So after this, we're both shot. And it was, that was the end of it. I thought, okay, that was cool. This was, this was, this was really fucking awesome to be actually honest with you. And just figure that's kind of a one-time deal. He'll go back, do his thing. And then I'll just kind of keep doing my thing. But I love the intensity of the effort and how freaking hard it was and how hard we pushed each other as well. I don't think he... He had people that were pushing him. There's no doubt about that. He's always had people that were pushing him, but I don't think they were pushing him to the intensity that I was going to push him because I didn't give a fuck. And I wasn't going to let him work harder than I did. This is where the synergy kind of came in. I didn't want to let him work harder than I did. He was bigger than I was and in, in, in a lot of ways stronger than I And actually, 
90% of the way stronger than I was, but I wasn't going to let him out effort me. But the, the conflict with that was he wasn't going to let me out effort him. So that's where things end up to become a little bit of a problem later on, which I can talk about that in other videos as we progress through this, because we had to start putting a time limit on how long the leg training was going to take because that session that I'm talking about here, it was close to three hours before it was done. So it was way over the top. And um, so, yeah, that was the first training session. And then I believe it was the next day. Um, I either text him or he texted me just saying, you know, how do your legs feel? And, you know, I just said, they're fine. You know, I mean, it's just kind of the answer. Yeah. But they were absolutely destroyed and then he put um next saturday and then question mark and i'm like hell yes and then that's kind of where that started to pick up again and then there was a lot of conversations throughout the week just training wise like what what are you doing and what kind of going back and forth and then i started to learn a little bit more about what his objectives were training wise and i kind of after a couple months i knew where his mentality really was and then it was a matter of when to push, when to pull back, what's the objective, what needs to be done. And in exchange, he knew where my mentality was training wise, but also where my weaknesses were as far as consistency with diet, consistency with um, stress and other factors. So it was our, our weak points were we had a lot of similarities when it came to training. Our weak points from a global overview were completely different. So we were able to, to mentor and advise each other on where those more global weak points were, which extend outside of the gym because the recovery is outside of the gym. And so that was one of the I don't want to say a defining moment. It definitely was a defining moment in our relationship because before that, all I knew John as was the bodybuilder that came in and trained at Westside for a few months. It was maybe one meet cycle, an off season for him, and then just kind of went, you know, about his his business. There was nothing about him that ever, you know, made me think any ill of him, but he he wasn't a power lifter. So, and he worked hard. I mean, so I didn't build any kind of bond or friendship with him when he was training at Westside. And now, you know, looking back, I wish I would have, but I'm grateful for the bond and friendship I had with him for the 10 years, decade that came after that. So it definitely helped bring us together with that. And yeah, so there's that. So there's one one training story which you can get maybe a couple different training ideas from and i'll wrap it up thank you guys check out the equipment sale and that's it